falls around down on the outer portion, okay? Um, so this is one artery and two veins. Mm -hmm. Arteries tend to be deep, and when they're deep and accompanied by veins, usually you have one artery and two veins. Obviously, they're going in different directions. So in the veins, we can tell the blood is going uh, up. up, not just because of these little arrows, because of the valves. Because of valves. And what are the valves? What kind of valves do they look like? Tricuspid. No. Uh, it's like semilunar valves. No cordy tendinity, no papillary muscles. Uh, so they look like semilunar valves, okay? And obviously when it goes this way, it closes up. When it goes this way, it opens up, okay? Uh, what, how do we get blood back from the tissues? What sort of mechanisms do we have? Osmosis? No. No, the capillaries. <laughs> no. What do you think? Wait. How does blood get back to the heart that's going through the veins? Gravity. Gravity does not help. It hurts. Yeah. No, the pumping. There are like pressure. three or four things muscular. Pressure. Okay, so there is a, a slight pressure gradient, but not very much, okay? Skeletal muscle movements, which is the, okay, the skeletal pump, okay? And then the breathing, that's uh, the respiratory pump, because changes in the thoracic cavity make this larger and less pressure there in the abdominal so that it pushes blood back up. Okay, um, so those are our different ways we use to get blood back to the heart. And also even just the uh, blood going into the atria kind of helps pour it in. Um, so the inner line is called what? Interna. Interna or intima, okay. And what kind of cells are there? Cephalosquamous, so they're called endothelium. And then the next layer is the tunica media. And uh, so, what's is it? Is especially thick where artery or vein? Artery. 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 What's in it? The tunica media. Mm. Muscle. muscle. Yes. What kind of muscle? Smooth muscle. muscle. What else? Elastic, elastic, elastic fibers. fibers. Also, we have these uh, internal elastic lamina, and external okay. elastic lamina, and it's especially important uh, this tunica media in the arteries. Okay, the arteries near the heart has a, especially a lot of elastic tissue, so they can. Stretch and recoil. Stretch and recoil helps maintain the pressure so it doesn't go sky high and drop. Okay. Um, and of course, the heart is pumping, so that creates the blood pressure. Uh, as we get further and further away, so those are called conducting arteries because they carry over a long distance. As we get further away from the heart, we get relatively more muscle, which can contract, and less elastic tissue. And that muscle then, when it contracts, can shed blood one way or the other. And those are called distributing arteries. Uh, now the tunica, uh, the veins have a relatively thicker tunica externa, not shown here. I'd say. And the veins have a larger lumen, right? Mm -hmm. So that makes less resistance, and the valves help. You know, so all of those things will help get the blood back to the heart. But why do we want the arteries deep? So they don't yeah. for protection. Yeah. For protection. Mm -hmm. You cut an artery, the blood spurts out. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you cut a vein, it uh, dribbles out. Okay. Because uh, we have deep arteries, uh, uh, deep arteries, but the veins can be superficial or deep. Who has more anastomoses, arteries or veins? Veins. Veins. Also a blood reservoir. And as the veins get close to the heart, what happens to them? Bigger or smaller? Bigger. 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 Okay. And as arteries get go away from the heart, they get smaller. Smaller. They turn to capillaries. Okay. And here is a model showing the pancreas. Head and tail and body, pancreatic duct. <laughs> this is the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. And what's this called? Spleen. Spleen. Okay. That's all we need to know about that model? I think so for now. Can you go with me? For now. Can you repeat that again?